Welcome back to the Printosaurus. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your hot end because I neglected some maintenance. I did not clean my LiDAR sensor, started the print overnight, and chaos was the result. Broke my hot end and there's a big blob of filament attached to the fan duct. So replacing the P1P and P1PS, these are the things that you would need. And for the X1 Carbon, very similar, just different connectors for the ceramic heater and thermosistor. So on the X1 Carbon, that's what I'm using as an example. The nozzle and everything should be exactly the same for your P1P and P1PS. Grab your thermal paste, and you're going to smooth that on the groove side of your nozzle where the ceramic heater will go. Once you've got that done, put a little bit of paste on the hole where your thermosistor will go. And I like to use the packaging to spread everything out. It's a little cleaner than using a Q-tip. Grab your thermosistor, you're gonna stick that in the hole, and then you're gonna route it through the groove in the heat sink. Make sure it's nice and flat. Be careful with that because you don't want to snap any of the wires or pinch it anywhere. And then grab your ceramic heater. You're gonna set that in the groove on the nozzle and then grab the retaining clip. Again, pay attention to those wires. You don't want to pinch anything. You don't want anything to rip or tear, break. And once you've got that in place, check those wires again. Make sure everything is routed nicely in that heat sink groove. And then once you've got it where you need it to be, go ahead and grab your silicone protector and you can slide that right on and then you can bolt up your fan. Our next up is getting everything connected again. Your ceramic heater goes in that top plug. To the right of that is your hot end cooling fan. And then right below that is the thermosistor. Then you're going to slide your hot end in place, aligning it with those two screw holes and screw it down. And as you can see here, we are back up and running. Everything's printing great. What I always do after I do any hardware type maintenance is another machine calibration just to make sure things are working and everything's doing good. So thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Please like, subscribe, 